Hello everyone, I'm Bing Ning Wang from Sogo Search Team. Today I will introduce the ComQA, a compositional question answering data site combined with the hierarchical graph neural networks. These works are joined conduct with Yao Ting, Chen Weipeng, Xu Jingfang, and Wang Xiaochuan. Currently, most of the machine reading comprehension and QA data site are based on continuous spine answers, such as words, phrase, or sentence. For example, the answers in the prevalent squad data site are continuous phrase from a Wikipedia passage. Other examples including nature questions and MS Marco and KBQA-based WikiTQ, where all the authors are continuous span. However, some of the real-world questions have compositional answer, where the answer are made up of some discontinuous evidence in the document. The evidence in the right page shows the answer of the question asked about Tom Hanks' Oscar-winning performance where the answers are the sentence in the first paragraph and some subtitles. All of them are located separately in the document. Other items such as images and table items are also valid for this task. Therefore, this paper focuses on the compositional question answering. We propose a large-scale data set where the questions are obtained from the real-world queries, and we want to investigate some validate method for this problem. First of all, we should define some basic granularity for this task. There are two levels of nodes in ComQA. The first one is the sentence, and the second one is the special HTML elements, such as images or table items. The answers in the ComQA are all made up of these elements. We use some rules to divide the web pages based on the tag and the separators. An example is shown here. Then we gather some questions for ComQA. We use our in-house Sogo search engine to obtain the some user queries and page titles as the original question resources. Then we adopt a rule-based filtering process to obtain the valid questions. Finally, we use clustering to remove some redundant questions. After all this process, we get nearly 200 valid questions, and the distribution of some questions words is shown in the right. We also develop a web-based annotation interface for the crowdsourcing workers. The users could simply click the page items to select the corresponding nodes as the final answers. It is very simple for them to use it. Finally, we get more than 120,000 valid questions, and we also ask some authority checkers who are well informed of this task to annotate the test set. An example of the ComQA data site is shown here. After the data construction, we moved to devise a model based on the ComQA. The backbone of our model is based on BERT, a pre-training method based on transformer. The input is the concatenation of the question and the document sentence. We use the special tokens to separate each sentence and the question. An example is shown here, where the two sentences are separated with a special EOS separator. However, for the ComQE data site, the document length is very long, which makes the self-attention mechanism hard to model. And the document has a structure, which are made up from the bottom words to the sentence and all the way to the top-level document. We also should model this structure information to the model. Therefore, we propose to incorporate the graph structure on top of the bird. We devise three types of connection. The intra-sentence connection, which links each word within a single sentence, and the inter-sentence connection for different sentences. And finally, a global connection that connects the question to all other items in the document. Besides, we also incorporate 
two levels of connection mechanism. The first one is the pipeline method, which, which models the three levels of connection independently. And the second one is the fused one, where we merge all this connection into a single agency matrix. The whole architecture is shown in the right figure. Currently, most of the progress in NLP have benefited from the pre-training techniques. For example, in BERT, use the mask laundry model to pre-train the transformer architecture. In mask laundry model, a random token is masked, and the model should predict the missing words given the context sentence. In this paper, we also propose two additional tasks to pre-train our methods. Since the original mask laundry model proposed in BERT are focused on local information, we additionally add the question selection task and node selection task to the model, which randomly replace the question and document sentence and the objective is to determine whether the sentence has been replaced. An example shown here shows that the sentence 2 has been replaced with another random sentence. So the correspondent label for this sentence should be labeled as 0. We compare our proposed graph neural networks with other methods, such as Bidive and BERT and QNet, which are all prevalent QA methods that are currently adopted by many researchers. The configurations of this paper are shown here. The results show that our model achieves a clear improvement over previous methods. In addition, the pre-training also boasts the result a lot. Besides, we can see that the fused connection methods are superior to the pipeline connection methods. Finally, we can see that our model combined with the question selection task and node selection task achieves the best result. We also investigate how the pre-training affects our model. The left figure shows that our model could obtain consistent improvement with the pre-training proceed. And the right figure shows that with only 5% of the whole training data, our model could achieve a better result compared to the Knight, which are trained in the forward data site, which shows the pre-training is very data efficient, that are very feedful for the low resource scenario. In addition, we can see that the three types of the connection in the graph neural networks also plays a wider role. Removing any of them would decrease the result a lot. However, we can see that the inter-sentence connection which links different sentences is more important. We have released our code and data on GitHub, and if you, you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email. Thanks.